that there was an opportunity for a big business solution to a huge, untapped global social issue. And I saw an opportunity really to do with the fact that the issue isn't porn. The issue is the fact that we don't talk about sex in the real world. Our tagline at Make Love Not Porn is pro-sex, pro-porn, pro-knowing the difference. And so what I decided to do was simply take everything that exists out there in social media currently and apply them to the one area no other social network or platform will go in order to socialize sex and to make real world sex and the discussion around it socially acceptable and therefore just as socially shareable as anything else that we share on Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram. But um, I do want to tell you why I designed the business model for Make Love Not Porn to be the way it is, because I think it really touches on something Katie raised earlier. I believe very strongly that everybody should realize the value of what they create. And I feel this particularly strongly because my background is theatre and advertising, two industries where ideas and creativity are massively undervalued, even by the creators themselves. And so I believe that if you create something that gives other people pleasure, you should see a financial return. And the more people you give more pleasure to, the greater that financial return should be. That's and gotta so suck for the people who don't get any money off their videos, though. Well, so, um, actually, we do a lot to promote that. Uh, uh, I should just explain, we have a revenue sharing business model at makelovenotporn.tv. Um, you share your real world sex, people pay to rent and stream those videos, and we give you 50% of the income. We want to hit the kind of critical mass where one day, your Make Love Not Porn video could hit a million rentals at five bucks per rental, and we give you half of that revenue. I feel like my band is going to have a side job now, so this is great. Excellent. Please do. Like